Hi, I'm Dr. Anirudh Malpani. I'm an IVF specialist. And one of the things most IVF patients are petrified about is the injections which they need to take. Because never taken an injection before, the only memories they have of having taken injections is when they were a child and they had to go to the pediatrician, would give them all these painful vaccine shots. And I completely understand. I hate having to take injections myself. But today I'm going to walk you through why we need to give you these injections, what these injections do and equally how easy it is for you to take your injections for yourself. So there's really no need for you to be scared. Let's go through this step by step. Why do we give you injections in the first place? You know, every month you grow one single follicle which has one mature egg. Why don't we just take that egg and do IVF? And the problem is because it's just one single follicle, we'll only get one egg and therefore the chance of success aren't that high. And that's the reason we give you hormonal injections so we can help you to grow lots of eggs. That's called super ovulation so that the more the eggs we get, the more the embryos we have, the better the chance of getting top quality blastocysts and we can freeze the extra blastocysts. So that's why you need super ovulation. The standard dose for super ovulation will depend on lots of things such as your antral follicle count, your AMH level. So there is no such thing as a standard dose and that's why you need to go to a good IVF specialist who will decide which dose is right for you based on their experience, expertise and based on your ovarian response which is what he'll monitor during the IVF cycle. What do we use to super ovulate you? It's a standard drug. This is gonadotrophin and as the name suggests this nurtures the gonads and helps you to produce lots of your eggs. This is a natural hormone. It's the same hormone your body normally produces to help you to produce that one single follicle. Of course, during a natural cycle, the levels are low so that only one follicle becomes dominant. So you only produce one mature egg. When we give you these injections, we're overriding that mechanism so that instead of allowing the rest of the eggs to die, which is a process called follicular atresia, we're saving those eggs so that they will grow. So A, natural hormones won't cause cancer, won't make you fat, they all get excreted promptly. So don't worry about any of these things. And they won't make you run out of eggs any faster either. The reason is we're only saving the eggs which would otherwise have died in any case. This standard injection, as I said, is a gonadotrophin in the old days. And we still use it. They're called urinary gonadotrophins. And now we use what are called recombinant gonadotrophins available in many different brands. This is typically what it would look like. As you can see, there is a little vial here. This vial contains powder. We then add a solvent to this so that we dissolve it and then we load it in this particular syringe and give it to you. Again, as I said, there are multiple different options available. In a lot of cases, these syringes are now pre-filled, which means they just, you don't even have to do, add the solution to the solvent or the powder. Everything's really done for you. So that's called a PFS or a pre-filled syringe. And all you need to do with that syringe is give yourself a shot. Technology is improved so that for patients who don't want to actually do the mixing, you now have what are called these pens and you can actually dial your dose and then you can again self-administer. And the whole point is you can do your administration for yourself. And the reason is, and I'll explain that to you in a second, is all these administrations are done subcutaneously under the skin. So the needles are really sharp, really fine. You can't stab yourself. You can't go into a blood vessel. You really can't do any harm at all. Once we're super ovulating you, we need to add a second injection. And why do we need to do that? Because after we've got you to grow follicles, we don't want the follicles to burst on their own. We don't want to ovulate on your own. So we control that. The standard dose for that in the old days used to be a GnRH analog known as Lupronin. And today, one of the additional options we use is called a GnRH antagonist, which is more expensive but requires fewer doses. And as I explained to you before, all you need to require is a syringe, which often will come with the injection itself. As I explained to you, you require a little needle. Looks scary, but you don't need to worry. And then you basically need to add the solvent. You need to load this after you've dissolved it inside and then you're ready for your self-administration. And that's all what's required. Again, multiple ways to do it. You can do it under supervision. So you just need to clean the area. Ouch! And give yourself a shot and then inject. And the beauty is you can't harm yourself. The needles are really so sharp. You won't even feel it going through. They're so short that you can't go inside your uh, uh, blood vessel or you can't really cause any harm. And I know it sounds a little queasy and a little scary the first time you do it. And often what we strongly recommend is to get your husband to do it. So he sets everything up for you, loads everything. You can supervise him 
And trust me, no one will give it with more love and care than your husband will. Because if he messes up, he's not going to forget. And you're not going to let him forget that he messed up. So he'll get better with time. Bottom line is it's something you can do. Do it for yourself. It's so much easier, so much cheaper, so much more convenient to do it for yourself. And that way you're in control of what's happening. If you have more questions, please visit our website. So we'll tell you more about all the gonadotrophins, about the GnRH analogs, the antagonists, why we use them. Because honestly, the more you know about your treatment, the better for you. What we're trying to do in these videos is prescribe information therapy because we honestly believe a well-informed patient will find a well-informed doctor. And that's how you get the best possible medical care for yourself www.drmalpani.com has lots of videos and thousands of pages, reliable, updated, without any jargon, because I've written it for you, myself. And if this information helps you to have a baby, nothing will give me more joy and pleasure, because that's the reason I became an IUS specialist in the first place, to help you to have a baby so that you can complete your family. Look forward to seeing you.